Whoa. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jasmine Lee here. And today we're gonna to be doing a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. But here's the catch. We're not gonna use any Kylie Jenner products. So what I'm gonna be using instead is Juvia's Place. So Kylie recently up uploaded a picture on her Instagram where she was using this new summer collection she just came out with. So because I don't have that, I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place palette. So what I have is the Saharan Blush Volume 2, the Nubian 2, and I also have the Dupes. We're going to go ahead and get into this look. First, I'm probably just going to do my base off camera because I just want this to be um, focused on eyeshadow. Alright guys, now that my base is all done, I'm going to go ahead and get into the eyeshadow part of things. So, to prep my eyes, <laughs> why was I having such an issue thinking of what to say just now? To prep my eyes, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut. Y'all know the drill if you've seen my past like makeup application videos. Chestnut is what I use. Now normally chestnut is used under my eyes, like for my highlighted areas of my face. But recently I started using my concealer as primer for my eyeshadow. And let me tell you, it works wonders. And I love it even more than using um, like the P. Louise primer or using the um, shape tape in a lighter shade because you see how effortlessly that blends with my foundation. I don't have to worry about, you know, going back and having these white casts around my eyes. I hate that, but I, although I do like using a lighter colored eyeshadow base, it's just not the way it is. So that's that. I'm just going to go ahead and get that nice and blended on both lids. So we're going to go into the Deuce by Juvia's Place. I don't know if you guys can like see it because the lighting is so freaking weird. So there you go. This is the deuce. I'm gonna be going into these shades. Here, here, this teal. Um, that pink possibly and crepes. So with no further ado. Let's jump right into it. First brush I'm going to be taking is this brush. It's a Sigma Small Taper Blending Brush, um, the E45 from Sigma. I'm going to take my brush and go into crepes. Crepes is going to go all into my crease. And if y'all see me looking down, I'm looking at my mirror, so excuse that in advance. I pat my eyeshadow in. I don't just like go in and start blending right away. I do prefer to pat it in and pack it into the eyelid first. take this Mikasa E330 brush and I'm just gonna get these edges smoked out a little bit. Now this shade Crepes is more pink than I remember that it was. So I'm actually gonna go into the Nubian 2 and I'm gonna take the lighter brown in this palette to blend it out. So that's Madagascar which is the tan up here. I'm gonna be taking that and blending that into my crease as well. All right, I lied, y'all. Cause this is already not coming out how I wanted to. So this uh, tutorial, uh, it's, it's coming. Let me just, <laughs> let me just see, okay? Just give myself a chance for once. I'm so quick to like, see that a makeup, you know, look isn't coming out how I want. And I'll just flip the whole table and, you know, just forget it and try to start over. I don't know why I'm like that. It's the Capricorn in me. Alright. Let's see. 
Because that shade was so pink, once again, I'm gonna take a smaller, this is like a pencil brush if you will, this is the Morphe E18, and I'm still gonna be going into Madagascar, and I'm probably gonna take a touch of, hmm, what because what I'm trying to go for, like Kylie's um, crease color had more of like a reddish brown in it, so I'm trying to think of what I can use. So, the shade that I'm going to be using, and I'm sure all of YouTube has missed this palette. I remember this was like one of the first palettes I was like, oh, I have to have it. And yeah, as you can see, I haven't used it much, much at all, really. I go into this palette more to smell it than anything else. <laughs> it just smells so good. I'm probably gonna start using it more though. I'll play in a few looks and make like one long video with a bunch of um, peach palette tutorials. So, yeah, this is definitely the sh yes, yes, yes. That's definitely the shade I was looking for. So, Summer Yum from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette is what I'm going into. So, I'm going into my crease with my pencil brush. So basically, if you guys are at home and you don't have any of the palettes I have, all you need is a reddish brown that is, and it may not come across camera right, but it's a brown similar to this. That's how it comes across in person. Let's turn the light back one up. Maybe I should leave it down. No, I'm turning it back up. Alright. Because I want it to be lit, okay? Alright, so now that we've deepened that up nice and cute. to be going and taking now for these I don't really have to cut my crease of course if you want that level of intensity you're welcome to um I'm not gonna carve out my crease because I don't really care about it being that neat right now so this is the macaron shade the teal shade I'm gonna go into my should I do outer corner first no, so we're gonna do our lighter color first. You always wanna do your lighter colors because once they mix over, you don't want your dark shade to like ruin the whole lighter shade. So you're gonna go into your light shade first. So that's gonna go in the inner corner of my eye, eyelid. And I am going to use a shader brush. And this is also from Mikasa Beauty. It's an E240 brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into puffs which is the shimmery pink shade here. And yes, honey. I'm sorry, Juvia's makes the best shimmers in the game. Like, if y'all know someone who makes better shimmers, please comment below because these shimmers are out of control. Like, really out of control. So that's that one. Then we're 
So the way I like do my faux cut crease, because I really didn't cut like with concealer or anything, I guess. I don't know if that's what makes it the cut crease or not. Um, but the way I'm doing this faux cut crease is I basically just pack on whatever shade it is. And the only way you can do shadow like this without really like cutting it with concealer is if the shadow is super pigmented, which these are. So um, we're going to I take it all the way up into my crease, like the actual dim in my eye because it's higher than the, the piece of my skin that folds, which is what you want essentially. I'm just take my brush and fold with that. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go back into the Juvia's Place palette and that teal shade, and I know y'all see her because she bright, honey. Let's turn it down so you can see her true to color. So this teal shade right here, I'm gonna be taking that shade and I'm going to be putting this shade on the outer corner of my eye. Like, I don't know what I could have done to intensify the color. It doesn't look exactly like Kylie's, but you know, it's cute, I guess. <laughs> so, now I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner, which I love, it's so easy to use and like quick to put on. I'm gonna do this like in the camera if I can. Kylie has like this little simple wing that only like came from like there to there. So that's what I'm gonna do. everything came out looking like I'm not mad at it you know I'm really not mad at it so um, again what I used was the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and the Juvia's Place Deuce palette so of course the colors aren't identical to what Kylie Jenner had on her eyes but again I did say Kylie Jenner inspired which means that there is room for a variation of that look so if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.